Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's canceled Broadway and TV actor, Sean Palmer. Does your moose knuckle have arthritis or are you just happy to see me? So usually I have a pencil that I pick up and I swing around because it makes me feel authoritative and boss bitch, but I kind of upgraded to a giant paper clip. So this, <laughs> is what I'm gonna be swinging around this episode. Welcome back to Lo-Fi Magic. So here's the deal. Uh, today's episode is a little different. It's a little dark, it's a little scary because we're gonna be talking about the shadow self, the left-hand path, the um, dark side. Ooh, that was freaky. That wasn't anything, I was just acting. Thank you. One of the great powers of the mind is the ability to recognize patterns. It has helped us survive through many chaotic things, being hunted and hunting and getting food and avoiding being food. The mind can also, it can be an overworked muscle and it can recognize too many patterns. It can create paranoia, it can create schizophrenia, it can really be a detriment depending on how you look at it. My mom used to say, you can't see patterns in everything. Actually, you can. That's one of the powers of the mind. A lot of the things that you look at in the world that you feel like you don't like or you hate or you have a distaste for, they're parts of you that you can't look at or deal with. If you imagine it this way, like anything outside of you, your opinion of it comes from in here. It didn't develop that opinion for you. You did it in here. One of the things I said in a previous episode was that just observing fear can actually be one of the conquerors of fear, just observing it, not even feeling that you have to overcome it because that can be overwhelming sometimes. This week has been kind of a strange week. Things in the world, they keep like sort of going on this ebb and flow sine wave situation where sometimes it seems a little bit calmer and then it starts to get a little crazy again. I fear not. I am not afraid of the things that I used to be afraid of just by observing them. You'll see in this episode, I've sort of tried to look at the full cycle of things, of life and death, of facing these morbid fears that I have, it's been really helpful. And I noticed that I come over and through some of them and I'm really grateful about that because that means it's a marked change. But anytime you do that, you graduate. <laughs> so you never know what you're, what you're graduating to. And so that's gonna be an interesting thing. But listen, I got a boss bitch paperclip. So you come near me and I smack you down. Without delay, let's get on to, welcome back to Nice Package. When you go shopping at M&S, which is Marks and Spencer's, for those of you who don't know. Lately, they've been giving you these little garden seed pod kind of things. They come in this little earth friendly, I guess that's made from some sort of paper or maybe it's made from dung. <laughs> and it has the little bit of soil and seed in there. You get one of these and it has a little stamped out bit, which is uh, got the name of whatever vegetable or plant that's in it. And then you poke it in there and then you can grow little vegetables. Now we've absolutely not got a green thumb in this household, nor even in my bloodline. We are good at killing plants. So if anyone has a job for someone who kills plants, I am totally up for the challenge. But sadly, that is a very rare job that probably doesn't pay very well. That being said, we did a little experiment and, and planted some of these over the lockdown and it was quite successful, surprisingly, because I would say we have a black thumb, if not a satanic thumb. This is a radish and this stalk that you see wasn't small and then it became big it was like boom it's here but also did you know radishes had flowers and did you know that this thing grew out of those little packages i showed you and this is the radish i'm told that we can't eat this one because it's probably now not tasty it's like a alien this may become a kaiju radish which kills all of the people in the city that I'm in and coming to your city soon. And then my next nice package, I found these cards called Intuity and I'm gonna open these with you. They were described as 78 cards and tales for helping you find new ideas, cure blank page syndrome and get inspired. And each card is designed using the principles of gestalt psychology and based upon the classical tarot archetypes. I know a thing or two about tarot. You have to be given them. So I have actually purchased a beautiful tarot deck for myself and then gave them to a friend and then had that friend give the cards back to me. These are not any way mystical or whatever. They're just about creativity. So I thought that was fun and I could buy them for myself. And did I ever explain that I hate when people call things fun that are inanimate? Just taking off the wrapper, you can see it's a very simple, um, packaging. 
They came from Italy. They come with a little booklet. It says these cards are the compass of a world called intuition. So I guess I was drawn to them because there were a lot of really bright colors. <laughs> bright colors is good for eyes. The artwork really appealed to me. There's kind of a Dr. Seuss quality to them. I guess I really loved this one particularly. Like, tell me that doesn't remind you of the Lorax. Um, this one is like a magical vagina. All vaginas are magical. This one's like an exclamation point in the middle of a Masonic <laughs> black and white lodgy type thing. This one's like a magic wand shooting off gay love rays. I probably shouldn't show that one. It looks like something phallic. Here's a nice pretty one I can show to the interwebs. You can see the sort of color palette of these. And I sort of love the starkness of the black and white on one side and then a really vibrant uh, color scheme on the other side. So it says, we often wonder what creativity is, where it comes from, if it can be taught, what key is needed to access it. And we get so lost in these conjectures that we forget that it has always been inside us waiting to be awakened. I'll buy that. It doesn't need to be studied or provoked. It just needs to be inspired. It was created at the Polytechnic University of Milan. I'm gonna learn a little bit more about doing the readings from these cards and they may serve as a segment on the show or they may even just serve as a way to gather ideas for content for the show. But I thought I'd share those with you because I was really excited about getting them and they dropped through my mail slot in the door the other day and He's a total slot. Uh, I was just really excited to show them to the, the internet. Thanks for joining me here on a Nice Package. It's time for Adult Toys, where I teach you how to play with yourself and really learn to enjoy your own company. This week, we have this artist called Nurus? Nurus? Nurus. Nurse? Nurse. Anyway, she has these two figures that she's done, Hot Dog Buddy and Hot Dog Betty. These are $250 each. They're wall hangings based on the sort of chalkware of the old, I think it's like 1940s, 1930s, if you guys know that. They, these look exactly like chalkware, but they're made from plastic. They're so cool. So I went online yesterday. I think they're um, edition of like 30 or 50 worldwide of each, um, the boy and the girl. And that's on her Etsy page. But then I sort of went exploring because I loved her work so much. But she has some really great toys at Martian Toys. They've done a collaboration with her and so they have a bunch of colorways of this terrific artwork that she did called Mr. Self-Indulgence where it's this pie who has is like serving a slice of his own head and then he has this guy called Little Scoopy which is his sidekick and that plastic toy which is beautifully done is $150 at Martian Toys not on her Etsy but it comes in really cool colorways like the cherry pie one the blueberry pie one it also comes in a black and white version that looks like an old film it's really cool they have just little Scoopy on his own which is like a 28 or 29 dollar figure in a bunch of different colorways and I'm absolutely obsessed with these if you guys know that game Cupheads it's very similar to that and like those old Betty Boop cartoons that like they always have like rhythm going on and dancing it's that kind of aesthetic and uh, something really bright and happy and colorful and a bit spooky which I love but speaking of bright and colorful things I've been wanting to bring this one to you guys for a while candy lab toys I don't know if you've noticed this trend in children's toys being made of wood, but this is a company that's sort of taken that to the next level. These are our children's toys, but they're also very appealing for adults. They're beautiful in their design and execution. They are made of wood. They're high quality materials. They're beautifully painted. The colorways and the vehicles themselves are very, very iconic. And they have these Candy Lab candy bands, which are $11.99. And I wanted to bring to your attention the soft serve, the taco, the donut, and the hot dog. These are just great. And so one of the things I love, like when I'm designing a room or a house, like when I go move somewhere and I want something impactful, I love repetition in design. I think it's the most impactful. I just thought these would look amazing if I had like a few of them lined up and they're at a very affordable $11.99. So their website is available both in America and globally. I think they ship everywhere and they make that quite easy to order. So um, you can check that out at Candy Lab Toys. So, you know, I sort of love that like um, cute evil thing. <laughs> These look like evil babies. This is called Baby in the West Blind Box Series. So this is J JT Studio and C Joy. JT Studios usually do very expensive, elaborate figures, but this is a sort of more affordable way to enter into collecting their stuff. 
and I just thought these were tremendously cool and they've got this kind of like the, the characters from the Gorillas band. Um, the colorways are just terrific. So these come in sets of five. You can order a five series for $12.99 each or uh, five of them for whatever five times $12.99 is. I'm not good at math. There is then a uh, one chase figure, which means that you get a one in 90 chance of getting the chase figure. So there's actually six figures, but it's unlikely that you'll get that other one. I wanted to bring you this little figure called Hitchhike Boys. So this is called the John figure. It's sold out right now, but if you message the company on their website, you will be able to pre-order it. And they said they will not get back to people right away. The information for this little resin figure and his amazing skateboard and some other merch that they do is available at thetoychronicle.com. The Winter Babies mini series Kaiju Icy Baby. I've said the word kaiju on here a couple of times. A lot of collectors probably know what kaiju is, but it's that movie where a giant monster comes in and ruins a city. That's kaiju. Um, so I'm not sure why these are called kaiju because they're adorably cute and they don't look like they'd kill a thing, except um, you might kill a couple of them by eating them. But they uh, are in a blind box series for $10.99. They are at My Plastic Heart. And uh, there's a couple of discount codes available on the Toy Chronicle, which you can use on the Plastic Heart, which you can find on the Toy Chronicle. I don't know if you guys actually buy any of these toys um, I do and I just want to let you know that some of the toys that I buy I'm eventually gonna do a giveaway when I get to a certain amount of followers but we haven't decided just exactly how that's gonna work out yet so I'll let you know anything you've seen on the channel almost anything that you've seen on the channel truly I'm gonna most likely give away if you don't mind my germy hands having touched it so I've just brought up um, the Blind Box, Baby West, JT Studios has done this Mask King 1 6th figure which you can get in a two pack for $5.75 or get one of each for $305 and that's at tenaciousToys.com and these are just beautiful. Mask King has this like dark leopard thing. Their clothes are amazing like basketball player, really cool colorway with their dark purples and just interesting um, materials that they've used and just premium, premium stuff. So um, I love JT Studios but these are the absolute bomb of figures and uh, I wish anyone great luck in trying to get these. I think they are like 399 pieces worldwide and that's with both of them included. But just look at these pictures, these the accessories that come with it, the colorway, the, just the design aesthetic of these toys is so, so appealing. It's like, grab it. it uh, I'm gonna tell you a story. <laughs> so when I was a kid, we lived next to this like a department store. It was a place called Gemco, Gemco. It was like the target of the old days. And I was obsessed with this, probably a one sixth figure Superman. And I wanted it so bad and we couldn't afford stuff like that. And so I took that Superman. I was a little, I was just about the size of this paper clip. And I took that Superman and I stuffed it up under my coat so that my belly was sticking out like this. And I just marched out of Gemco with a stolen giant Superman in my jacket. This is all coming to me now. I did not plan to tell you this. And a security guard caught me as I was going out and we had a dialogue where I was trying to be all big and be like, oh, it's nothing, you know? Six years old, probably. I don't actually remember the, how the story ends. I know I had to give back the figure and I had to apologize. But let me just say, it's a lifelong obsession with toys. So, um, you know, keep playing with yourself. You'll get better at it, but don't steal them, okay? Because I'll be giving them away. You guys, we've been on a few dates now. I feel cozy enough with you. Do you feel cozy enough with me to take just the tip? You know, there's so much conflict going on. Keep your sense of humor. No joke. Keep it. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, you'll need it. But I realized the shortcomings of words. I used to like go to Bible school and stuff and I, I think a lot about like passages from the Bible that I learned and like when there's truth in them, it's just truth. Even though I don't sort of adopt the whole shtick, when you get the truth, you get the truth. And this is one of those things that really occurs to me. Words fall short because they cement things. Words are vibration that bring the world into being because all the world is vibration. They create a material solid thing in time and space and they don't do the job of working with something that's in a state of change or being transformed. That's why they say not the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law, because the law is a moving and changing thing as we move and change and our ideas move and change. Instead of getting inflamed by words, remembering 
how insufficient they are at doing the job that we put them up to. There would be a lot less conflict if we could all manage to take that horse pill in. I know that's a bit of a deep one. I trust you with it. So I'm giving that to you. You guys, don't be afraid to look in the shadows. You go in the dark and you get the greatest treasures. It's true. You'll never go into the dark and not receive something to bring back out into the light. I hope you're all staying healthy. You're magical. You're beautiful. And I love you. Goodbye.